The most Kansas reservoirs are made in decent shape despite the drought in the heartland. Well, but the state has its eyes on one critical lake that's running low. Zach Tecklenburg is in the newsroom now to explain. Hi, Zach. Hi, Elizabeth. Two eastern Kansas reservoirs play a big part in powering eight. 100,000 homes in Kansas and Missouri. Coffee County Lake, just outside Burlington, Kansas, provides cooling for the Wolf Creek nuclear power plant. You need cooling water to generate electricity. The levels in Coffee County Lake are just fine. However, there is a little concern nearby at John Redmond Reservoir, which supplies Coffee County Lake. Right now, Redmond is about 58% of normal, basically about three feet low. If drought conditions continue, Redmond Reservoir could become 95% dry by November. That's why water conservation plans are in place along the Neosho River. Obviously, we're trying to take measures to, to manage the reservoirs and the releases as closely as possible so that we're not releasing any water that's not necessary downstream. A spokesperson for the power plant told me this afternoon that there is no immediate threat of a shutdown. Earl Lewis at the water office says that even if Redmond Reservoir gets extremely low, extremely low Coffee County Lake has enough water storage so the plant can still operate for many months. In the newsroom, Zach Tecklenburg, 41 Action News.